Hello everyone, welcome to another tech tip here at 45 Drives. Um, and here we're, uh, we're gonna have a quick, quick and simple one. We're gonna address a question that I still hear all the time from our socials, from our salespeople, through our customers, all kinds of things. Uh, virtualization, storage, um, you guys do Proxmox, you guys do Houston. Um, I think you guys can do TrueNAS too if, if we really need. Um, I, I need virtualize, I need storage. Which one's the right one? And it's funny, we've done so much content on Proxmox, so much content on Houston, there's so much on the internet about it, but that question still, still keeps coming up. So we're gonna just briefly hit what one is right for what purpose, we're gonna stay brief, and just give you a good starting point on where you should go. Okay, so you want to virtualize, you want some storage, you might even want to containerize, but whatever, that's a little out of scope. Let's just say you want to virtualize storage. Storageize? No, I'm just kidding. Um, Software-defined storage. It, there's no, what box should I use for what? It's, it's what, what software do we want to use to make it all work? Um, with that said, all the 45 drives lanes, all the way from 45 Home Lab to 45 Pro to 45 Enterprise, all of those, this applies to all of those. It doesn't matter what your end use case is, it, but it's what are you trying to do with your storage and which software is gonna enable, what, what are you also gonna do with virtualization, sorry, and what software is gonna enable the right thing for you. And I'm gonna use my magic catchphrase, it depends. Um, it depends what you're really trying to do. So let me just break up some key points here and maybe help you get to that like, okay, move past the it depends, if you will. So let's start simple, right? Storage box. You bought a uh, 45 drive server, whether it's home lab, whether it's enterprise, whether it's anywhere in between, and you want to use this um, for your primary storage. Maybe backup, maybe a bunch of other stuff, but you've got a lot of extra horsepower in there. You want some virtualization. Maybe you uh, are using a um, uh, NVR um, camera recording software for your, for your um, uh, home camera network, or maybe in your business to uh, make sure no one steals any of your product. And maybe it's Genetech, maybe it only runs in Windows. So you want all your storage in there, and maybe you just want a virtual machine. Well, this is where Houston can be a great, great choice because it's a single server, you do your active storage, and we have a great UI built into Houston, thank you, thankfully through the native cockpit way, of using Linux KVM. What that means is it's a simple click, 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 boom, you got yourself a Windows machine, done like that, easy virtualization. So, Houston, plus Linux, plus KVM, which is virtualization in Linux, is a great way when your primary use case is storage, sharing, and something simple, and you just need a VM or two. Where Proxmox comes in here, and what the best part of Proxmox is, is when it's a primarily a virtual machine um, storage solution. Storage solution? Virtual machine solution is what I should have went with. And why you would go with this is if you need the high availability of a clustered storage. You can't cluster and fail over your virtual machines in the Houston way, but you can with Proxmox. You can do advanced techniques like splitting across different networks. You can, you can uh, have a lot more detailed of snapshotting. You can have um, uh, the plethora of native storage that plugs into Proxmox. My point is if Proxmox is gonna be right for you, is if you wanna like replace your VMware setup, if you want all those enterprise features of the HA, it's more about virtualizing and keeping those VMs alive than it is about storage and running everything else. And I did mention TrueNAS, I should also mention TrueNAS because they are a great product, good UI, and does a lot of good things, but where being based on BSD, there's not really a great native hypervisor for that. And uh, to which one I say Linux KVM's awesome. That's both what Proxmox uses and what Houston uses. Um, so TrueNAS can be great there, um, great storage product, makes everything really easy that way, but the virtualization hurts a little bit. So let me wrap up that uh, quick rant I said I was going to keep really short and it didn't stay that short, is if it's a storage box and you just need a simple VM or two, Houston's perfect for that. Really easy to set up, we love it. If you want more of a, uh, a virtual machine and containerized environment and its whole purpose is to be HA and its main point is to give you virtualization and making everything easy there, Proxmox is a great choice. So that's a quick lay of the land. I hope that clears up some questions. I hope it 
open some more questions, some further questions, and you want to reach out to us. So as always, comments, social media, info, 45 drives, call us. We want to hear from you. And uh, if you want to see more about both routes, we've done a lot of prox mocks. We'll link some of those, maybe some more stuff into uh, how we do virtualization with Houston and, and, um, and everything on the single server. Well, we can do that as well. So thanks for watching. Catch you next time.